you tuned into this video to get travel tips and that's what I'm gonna deliver as soon as I show you that's the Coliseum right there yes it's beautiful isn't it there's lots of stories of people getting scammed so to speak on taxis and I think most of that comes from people getting into what they think are taxis but they're actually getting into another type of ride service not an official taxi how do you tell what is an official taxi from a unofficial taxi in Rome? It's really pretty easy. The official taxis, for one, they say taxi on the roof, and number two, they're white, typically, and they also have like the rates and stuff on the doors. If you're getting into a sedan that's unmarked, usually a black sedan or van, those are usually ride services, but they're not the official taxi, and they will charge you two, three, four times as much as an official taxi. Um, one time I did take one from the uh, Termini train station to Piazza Spagna where I'm at now and again it's not metered so when we got there it was about let's say it's about two miles he charged me 40 euros I've since taken a taxi and the taxi was just under 10 so yeah it was four times the regular fee to get a taxi in Rome you just have to find a taxi station but it just got a lot easier with a new app called free now the free now app you just put in where you want to go and the app knows where you're at and a taxi will be to you within three to four minutes and you'll be on your way the trick to getting into the vatican without a line is you get here at eight in the morning when it first opens at eight in the morning there's no line whatsoever you can just walk on into the Vatican and you don't have to deal with the big crowds. You need to make a choice. Do you want to get up early and get to the Vatican and avoid the line or get here in the afternoon and stand in line? By the looks of this it's at least an hour and a half wait. You don't need skip the line tickets to get into the Basilica, you just need skip the line advice. And that's what I just gave you. Hey I'm back! It's 8 a.m. Friday and uh, look where's the line go? You might have thought I was giving you some bum advice. That line just really short you can get right in here in the morning and uh, yeah I just saved you two hours instead of standing in line now you can go enjoy the day in Rome why would you want to stand in line while you visit Rome I don't know but a lot of people do they obviously don't subscribe to my channel because they'd know better if they did We're at one of my little favorite finds here recently. It's called Pizza and Po. It's in uh, near the Vatican. And if you're on a budget, this is a great place. It's a great stop. The pizzas are like five euros. You can eat a lot of good food in Rome for less than $20 a day. What I would say, if you're on a budget, avoid restaurants. Restaurants are gonna cost you quite a bit more. In fact, you're, you're gonna spend probably more than 20 euros just on one meal. But in Rome, you can get pizza, you can get uh, all kinds of street foods, you can eat at the open markets, you can eat in the supermarkets, and uh, $20 goes a long ways. Still get great food and not spend too much. I mean, that's the way to do it. You and I know the easy does it. I want real meaning, no easy love. If I wait in your time, will it be enough? I've been thirsting for answers, I'm looking up. God, I know you're my portion, please fill my cup. You said that you meant that I ain't giving up. No throwing the cars and no packing my stuff. Won't stop when I fall, cause I saw what you did when you gave up your life and you bought me with blood. Bought me with love, I can't give up, I can't give up. In Rome, there are 2,500 not zoning. That's what these public drinking fountains are called. There's they're like noses coming out, the water's flowing. The water's great in here. It's safe to drink, it's free, and uh, literally they're all over Rome. Pickpocketing in Rome does happen, unfortunately. 
and I have a whole video about how to avoid being pickpocketed while you're in Rome. But on this video, let's just say when you're in crowded areas like this at, at the Spanish Steps or in other areas like Trevi's Fountain or in the subway or at the Termini train station, just pay special attention. When you tour Rome, only carry one credit card and maybe enough cash for the day. And then if it does happen, you won't be completely you know, wiped out or devastated. You can uh, regroup and it won't be that big of a deal for you. When you get ice cream, here's the tip. Always get the pan, that's the cream on top. It's so good. Unless you ask for it, oftentimes they do not give it to you. So that's my tip. Whenever you get ice cream in Rome, always ask for the cream. It's called La Panna. Without it, it's just ordinary. With it, it's extraordinary. Another tip is travel with a carabiner. They come in handy for so many things. When I, when I travel, like I have my bag here, I like to put it on my bag, and, and then I, I, when I'm eating and I don't want to forget my bag, I just clip this to my belt. So then it's clipped to my belt, and I don't have to think about it, and that way when I leave, there's no way that I'm going to forget my bag, because if you forget your bag, you might as well have had a stolen and had a better story than just forgetting your bag somewhere. Buongiorno, Rome Italia. That's where we're at, Rome, Italy. That was a tribute to Robin Williams, I guess. Anyway, um, this tip is going to save you some stress, maybe even some money if it happens to you, which it did happen to us. My wife's passport was stolen, and we ended up having to go to the embassy to get that replaced. It was 125 euros. We were there with another 40 or so people getting their passports replaced. It does happen. People lose them. They are stolen. So it's best not to tour the city with your passport. Leave the passports in your hotel, in your Airbnb, put them in your safe if there's one, but don't tour them with you. There's no need to. You just take a picture of your passport and in the case of an emergency, you have that. That works just fine. And uh, yeah, keep that passport safe and save the headache of having to go to the U.S. Embassy in the middle of your vacation. Yes, that's a good advice, I would say. Take it for what it's worth. first rule of thumb when riding Rome's metro is to not take your personal luggage onto the metro. When you're arriving in Rome from Termini or from the airport, take a taxi. They're not that expensive and it'll save you a lot of hassle. I see people all the time taking their bags onto the metro. And if you're an Italian, that's one thing. You kind of know you're the lay of the land. You kind of know where you're going. But when you're a tourist, you're a little bit disoriented. You're a little bit lost. and and uh, pickpockets can sense that. Then when they see that you're distracted with luggage, you become a prime target. So you're in Rome and you're ready to get on public transportation and you need to get tickets. Um, a ticket is one and a half euro and here's how the tickets work. A bus ticket is good for 100 minutes, meaning if you go out and take the bus, go shopping and come back and it's been less than 100 minutes, you only need one ticket. If you go into the metro, once you go into the turnstiles, you're good as long as you stay down there. But once you come up out of the turnstiles to the surface again, if you want to go back down in the metro, even if it's been less than an hour or less than 100 minutes, you have to purchase another ticket. But there is a new thing in town called tap and go. And with tap and go, you no longer need to have tickets. You can just use your credit card as your ticket. And the way that works is at every metro station, right on top of the turnstiles, there's a little receiver. You just tap it with your credit card and it charges you the one and a half euro. If you're on the bus, you walk to the front of the bus and there's a screen in English that says tap and go on it. And you tap it, it turns green, acknowledging payment, and you're good to go. And here's the beauty of tap and go. Every time you get on a bus or metro, you tap, right? And no matter how many times you tap, the most it's going to charge you in 24 hours is 7 euros. In 48 hours is 12 and a half euros. And in 72 hours is 18 euros. It's going to automatically give you the best available rate depending on how many times you tapped. So that's the great news. You no longer have to decide, do I need to buy the three-day pass or do I need the one-day pass? Am I going to use the Metro as much as I think I am? Now you just tap every time and it's going to give you the best available rate. The only caveat is you cannot use the same device or same credit card with two different people. You need to have, if you're gonna use the same credit card, you can do that, but you need to have it on two separate devices. Like you could, your wife or 
whoever could have it on their phone and you could have their actual credit card or you could both have it on your separate phones but you can't use the same phone or same credit card to make two separate purchases because it's tracking you individually and that's just how that works there's no reason not to have a ticket you've got one in your pocket just use it and it makes getting on the bus or metro so much easier no longer do you have to hunt for a place to buy the tickets or stand in line when you finally do find a place if you do still want to buy tickets the way you get those is at a tobacco aisle any place that sells tobacco products in Rome sells metro and bus tickets and the way you know is you're walking down the street you'll see these T's like on top of like sometimes they're in bars and sometimes they're just tobacco stores but if they have a T which stands for tobacco that means they're an authorized distributor for the uh, bus and metro tickets and that's where you get them if you're at the stations you can go in there's a ticket office in most of the metro stations and then there, there's also electronic kiosks where you can put your credit card in and tell how many you want and it'll print out you know tickets for you to use that way Another tip, never get on the bus or metro without a ticket. They will fine you and the fines are steep. Now they don't check every time, maybe only 10% of the time, but if you get caught without a ticket, the fine is like 100 euros. And I have seen people try to talk their way out of it. I mean, they spend 10 minutes, you know, arguing. Hey, I didn't know, I don't speak Italian or whatever. They don't care and they will fine you. They have very thick skin, they've heard it all. If you're on the metro or a bus, you need to have a valid ticket. So the way you do that is you have a ticket, first of all, and you need to validate it when you enter into the bus. The tickets for the bus are good for 100 minutes. So if you validate it on your first bus, it won't validate a second time. You just need to know, let's say you got on at 3 o'clock, you need to know roughly 100 minutes from now, you're going to need another ticket if you're on that bus um, or a different bus. Let's put it that way. If you're on the metro, a little different because you're going to use the ticket it's going to validate when you go in it's going to open up the the turnstile for you but then you need to take that ticket because where they check on the metro is when you're exiting the metro and again they don't check every time but if they do check it's going to be at the turnstiles on the way out and again don't get caught without a ticket it will cost you and uh, it's best just to use tap and go that's a tip on this video as well um, but if you're using tickets just make sure you have one and make sure they're uh validated. I'm going to show you how to save time and money this one. This is both using high-speed rail in Italy. High-speed rail is awesome. You can get to Rome or from Rome to Naples in less than one hour where before high-speed rail it was around three hours. You can get from Rome to Florence in just over an hour and a half and that was like four plus hours before. So high-speed rail is definitely the way to travel but it is more expensive but with the advice I'm about to give you, I can save you at least 50% on your tickets, and this is how you do it. You look on the app, today is November 1st, so let's go here to November 1st and look at the pricing. You book the day of or one or two days out, your pricing is going to be fairly expensive. Okay, going the cheapest rate I can find here today from here to Florence is 49 euros, okay? And there's others that are 59 euros depending on the time of day and which train you take. If I book out a bit in advance, there are so many tickets they allow for every train at discounted prices, but they sell out. So in, in high season, they sell out, you know, even two, three weeks in advance. In low season, sometimes three, four, five days in advance to get the full savings. And I'll show you, here I can book out basically a week, a week from now, which is November 8th, and I'll search the same this is for the same trains. Searching. Okay, now, look at this. If one's taking an early train out, like 5.40 in the morning, pretty early, you can get there each way, this is each way, is 12.90, under 13 euros. But for a regular ticket, I mean, let's, let's face it, 5.40 is not very appealing to, to get to the train station. I have to get up at three in the morning to do that. So, you can get a ticket for around 26 euros, depending, 22 euros. There's, there's quite a few here to choose from. And if I went out a little bit further, let's just see. I don't know it's going to change much. This is to the 15th, okay? Oh, yeah. There actually are some pretty good savings. You have a 725 for 990 going out another week. 
you've got uh, 740 for 1240. So you've got an 855 for 2190. And then the rest of them are around 23, 24 euros. So booking, even in uh, off season, going out two weeks does save you additional. And in high season, remember, a lot of people travel in high season. Book those tickets, you know, as soon as you can. Book them three weeks in advance, four weeks in advance. It'll save you a lot of money. Here's the trade-off though. If you do not show up to your train or you miss your train, let's say you're getting a taxi and it shows up late to the station and the, the train parts without you, you just lost your ticket. They will not rebook you for free. They will not rebook you at all. Um, you're gonna have to buy a new ticket. If you paid full fare, you paid the 50 or 60 euros for the ticket, and you miss the train, they will rebook you for free on the next train, no problem. But um, that's kind of the trade-off. You just need to be on time to the train station so you don't miss your train, and it won't be a problem. But you need to know that. That is a good tip. Book your tickets early and safe.